welcome in everybody happy wednesday it is real wednesday today and we're here so welcome in uh first things first last things last that of buttons um you are both the last from seven days ago you are the last last and you are the first first so you were the first viewer to redeem first on this year's stream and you were the last viewer to redeem last after last last their stream i re i really am gonna need a bit for those two things together but anyway uh double pat yourself on the back right there buttons because you are first and last and i keep dropping my earbuds which is exciting and bodes well um we also have a couple of other things going on so settle down beavis i know you are in lurk mode i hope that you enjoy your fancy fancy dinner but you did redeem the non-free hug so you know stretch okay we got the hug in there we got the backpacks in there uh if anyone sees beavis feel free to give him a hug where, where wherever you see him you have my permission he redeemed a non-free hug and then also willis again in lurk mode and that is a-okay it is super lovely to see you even pop up just briefly in chat or even if you don't it just y'all are great um but popping up and redeeming word of the stream willis just to make sure we all know that Willis has been here. At least that's how I interpret it, because I think that's funny. Um, welcome in, folks, as I am writing this chalkboard. I hope you are doing well and that you are having a great Wednesday. I had a bit of a mid sort of day today, but I'm doing my best. We're doing our best to get through things. Hello, Pseudo Rudo. Thank you very much for redeeming non-seasonal candy. <gasps> Hi, Buttons! Hi, I like daisies! Hi, hi, everybody! Hi, boys and Darth Frog! It's dangerous to go alone. Ask some mummies to accompany you to the creepy building, because that, in fact, will assist. That will make you feel better, I'm sure. Oh, and hello, SMK. Sorry, I did see you. Um... I forgot to say anything, and I probably missed other people. But anyway, if you're here, welcome. It's lovely to see you. Here's our word of the stream. Th this isn't as happy as I expected it to be, but I did, I did it the same. Your video game was so stressful, buttons. Like it was fine. It was fine. It was really funny, and I loved your commitment to making sure that like the choices were happening. But just the more I listened to things that were happening, the more I was like, I just need to tell every character in this how appropriate, how inappropriately they're behaving, and everything is stress. And that's just me today. We're here. We're having a good time. I'm telling my inner self, no, it's fine. This is a video game and nobody's getting hurt by it. And one of these days, I'll believe me. It's fine. You'll also be on standby to make sure I don't miss the fun Easter egg that you mentioned. I'm glad. I was actually thinking about that. Speaking of fun Easter eggs, it was seasonal candy or was it? No, it was not seasonal candy. We'll skip the Easter egg then. Um... I, I was thinking about that Sudorudo and I was like, gosh, I hope she's here because I'm about to walk into a boss fight and I thought that you mentioned something fun like for I can a castle and there's not a lot of that left. Anyway, that was my non-seasonal candy. It's a hug. You've all been here this month. It's fine. You know, it's fine. Um, Poison Darth Frog. I saw your uh, comment on my YouTube video and I admit it's been so long since I played that game that I officially now have to go click through that video to remind myself what you're talking about. <laughs> tell you how when I get to it or just tell you where? It's an Easter egg, right? It doesn't actually impact anything for the gameplay. It's just something funny. Because if it's just something funny and it's not an impact for, or I guess funny is not the right word. If it's just something unique that I might have missed otherwise, but has no impact whatsoever on the game, I'm completely fine with you just telling me. You could just be like, Lady QEW, when you get to this point, which I really hope is sometime in the boss fight due to there not being anything else, I think. We only learned about it because a randomizer showed it off. Oh, look. Quill, Quill, Quill. I'm just going to call you Quill. 
Kodalin, Kodalin, Kodalin. I'm having struggles today. Hi, Quill. Nice to see you. How are you doing? <laughs> you should have put a time in the comment. You forgot to do that. I accept that, Poison Dye Frog. It's fine. I understand categorically to what your comment refers, and so I'm going to jump over there. But A Link to the Past was one of those games that I actually played pretty blind. I had never played A Link to the Past before. Um, but I had played A Link Between Worlds. And so I was like, well, I kind of already know how the map works. That was not enough. <laughs> but, like, there's so many things that I remember just being like, oh, I wonder if this is how this is going to go. And so uh, it, it, it's fine. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll remind myself. And then I'll be like, oh, yeah, that does make sense. <laughs> and it'll be great. Okay, the Easter egg is in the boss fight. This is good. Thanks, Quill. <laughs> It was just easier for my eyes to read. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Okay, boss fight. Wearing the Bremen mask does something fun. The Bremen mask? This doesn't do anything. Okay, I'm still wearing this one. So, hold on. I don't... I don't know what my options are. I don't know what I'm going to find. Okay, I did already destroy all of those guys. Okay, so the hookshot is my favorite weapon, so we'll keep my favorite weapon. Just, just the whole... It does have an action button. You are right. You have also reached the point of people commenting on things you don't remember. <laughs> it took you this long? Poison Darth Rug, you have so much on your YouTube. I am truly amazed that that hasn't come up before. Okay. So my hint is, wear this mask and it has an action button. And I'm super curious about this. So, here's what I know, chat. Going into this boss fight. I reviewed the photos that I took uh, for clarification for anyone who, like, just played this game like a normal person instead of slightly obsessively like me. Um, if you wear the Garrow's mask as you're walking through Icana Canyon, like, there's these little noises when Tattle notices something, and those are for specific zones within the canyon. And if you put on this mask when you're in one of those zones, a ninja pops up out of nowhere and attacks you. And it's a one-hit battle. You just have to hit him once, and he, like, falls over. But they tell you how to beat the game when they do that. Like, one, one sentence at a time, one comment at a time. They just tell you things that you need to know to navigate Icana Canyon and to do the things that need to be done. And I took pictures of every single one of those because I have like a week between plays of this game. I don't remember. <laughs> and so I reviewed my photos and reminded myself that I have been told something essentially akin to in this room that I'm about to go into with the boss in it, I am supposed to like find the light source and burn away anything that's in the way. And so I've been, I, the word burn was the important thing. And so I presumed at that point when I was speaking to that like ninja, I presumed I was going to need to use fire arrows on some kind of curtain. And so I don't know if that's true, but that is the sum of it. That's what I know about what's about to happen. And so I think I got a hint for this boss fight, which is burn some curtains and I guess we'll see what happens. But also, now I have a wonderful hint that at some point I will want to use the action button with this mask. And I'm really curious about that. So we'll see. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why is frog? That is my favorite comment. <laughs> You had to read your own book so that you wouldn't contradict yourself in the sequel. You have no idea. One of the main things, if I'm ever working on something like a story, if I put it down for longer than like two days, I have to read everything I wrote before I pick it up again because I, I don't know where I was going, you know? And so like, I'm so on that page. <laughs> Just the, what did I say? And am I sure that was what I said? And that I didn't change my mind or that something didn't get adjusted in the editing process or like, 
more power to you. Good for you. I did get my non-seasonal candy, Sudorudo. Thank you. It's actually still melting on the roof of my mouth right now, so I definitely know I got it. It was a hug for anyone who, you know, still cares. But I appreciate that. Stream started off well, and uh, hats off to you for making sure. <laughs> oh, the face on my shield. Okay, okay. Let's just see what there is to see. Oh, I see. There's a holding room. Mm, these are probably items. Oh, right. I can't sword because of the action button. Okay, so they are insistent that I have arrows, that I have health and magic. Nice! Okay, so I need to remember I can't sword when I have that mask on. Mm. That makes it a little harder to just wear it and try out the action commands whenever I feel like it. But I'm sure I will figure something else. Late game big time revisions can be tough. It, it'd be like that. I wonder if I actually need to burn things with Deku sticks. Probably not. They really like making me shoot things. Mm, so there's light literally right there. Sorry, I'm taking stock. There's pots in the four corners of the room. There's literally light right there. Um, okay. That looks like a throne. Pillars. That kind of almost looked like a door, but it is not. Interesting. I'm I'm very used to being attacked by cutscenes. I do. Oh my goodness, Poison Darth Frog. You mean this one, right? Because, like, the Gorman brothers are bad guys that I've been, like, pseudo-fighting all game, but also the leader of the circus troupe is named Gorman, and the info on this mask is people related to Gorman will react to this, and I'm like, why? Why is this just a whole big thing? I love it. There are two Easter eggs in this room. <sighs> Erica, hello! Oh no! I'm sorry! You can give me the word anyway and I can try to say it. <laughs> if it'll make you feel better, but hello! Or you could save it for next week. Because I stream every week on Wednesdays. <laughs> I'm sorry you got cut up. I always love seeing you in the words that you, that you drop for the word of the stream. Wednesday don't stop okay I'm assuming I'm gonna have to move forward for a cutscene you good okay okay I'm good um nice we have light okay just just cutscene me my dudes do the Bremen first after that the captain's hat also does something oh that makes oh Chat, we got curtains! My servants have fallen namelessly before the light that guides you. However, the darkness in which my servants live is after all fleeting. You shall see with your own eyes. Uh-oh. Just what kind of thing true darkness really is? Oh my goodness, all of these characters are insane. And I do not have my bow out. One mo one moment, please. I would like to shoot a curtain. Nope, I missed. I missed and got wrecked. That's okay. We'll try again. I shot directly in between the two curtains. We're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Hold on. Because these guys are... are... Oh, <laughs> 
okay, Erica, that definitely sounds worth a bookmark. Um, because I I love words that I know. Okay, this is the greatest thing. <laughs> it does nothing, but it is amazing. <laughs> like, I can't I I assume that the second I let up on that button, they just attack me again, and so it doesn't help. It's not like I can do that and set up for a curtain shot. Literally just, do you want to see these skelly boys prance on their little ballerina feetses? If so, press march. And yes, I did. I did want to see that. That was beautiful. Okay. It's doing something. Nice. Okay. I hit one this time. Yep. He's surprised. Everyone is shocked. Hold on. Hold on. I want to I want to stand here. Can I can I stand here for a second? Okay. Awesome sauce. Great. So they do in fact hate light, which is perfect. F flawless. Um I don't know of anything that is going to help me with this. Um we're going to throw this here. We're just going to put it on because hopefully it doesn't impact anything. Uh, okay. So they just avoid me straight up when I'm in the light. That is uh, good to know. Hmm. Interesting. How do I... Oh, okay. Okay. They really do not like the light, which is okay. I can, like, hear you. Wait, what? Why didn't that... Okay. Can I... Like, am I able to stun them with this? This is very unclear. Oh, ouch. Okay. Uh, well. Wait, what? I am having a very bad premonition chat. Just be wearing the captain's hat. Okay, I'm wearing it. I will not take it off because the captain's hat doesn't have an action button, so we're fine. Different dialogue without the captain's hat? I'm not that picky about the perfect dialogue tree. Okay, so what just happened there was very confusing. When I was targeting that one with the feathered hat, I couldn't get the light to reach him to do anything. Which is why I kept like going and trying to get him to attack, assuming that there would be like a window after he attacked wherein I could like damage him or something. And there sort of is. It's a little bit trickier on the dude with the feather hat than on the other one. He leaves himself like wide open if if you uh, avoid his sword swing. But what just happened there was I definitely got the sound that indicated that I defeated both of them. I heard it twice within one hit of each other. And then I like backed up to try to figure out how to plan for what happened next. And one of them burst into flame and the other one did not burst into flame and has gotten back up. Um, my gamer instincts are telling me something here. And the thing that my gamer instincts are currently telling me is that I definitely want to get the second curtain going. Ooh! A seven stream streak. Good for you, Erica. Thanks for hanging out so consistently. Cinema coast, coast, coast. I'm not, I'm not quite sure how the Chinook phonics work for a KWST syllable that's a lot of consonants in a row um but that's actually really cool jargon okay so my gamer instincts are telling me that this is like the skelly boys in link's awakening uh 
more than likely it is totally okay if you don't remember that but the scaly boy that i'm thinking of specifically in Link's awakening is the one where you hit him with the sword and he falls apart i think this might be inverted but you actually have to hit him with a bomb after he falls apart or something like that like i think you have to hit him with a bomb to make him fall apart and then your sword does damage but it like doesn't normally and so mm, i want to light the second curtain on fire because I think it's light, and I think I accidentally hit the one guy with light, and I did not hit the other guy with light. And so I think this might be one of those situations where I have to, like, knock them down, and this is going to sound very um, dark, and I apologize. Plug your ears if you, if you can't afford to hear creepy things. Um, but I'm pretty sure I have to kill them and burn their bones. Um... <clears throat> which feels a little bit like salting the earth to me. So, we are going to stand, stand safely here so that I can actually aim at the other curtain. Because my aim isn't bad if you don't stop. <laughs> he was so shocked. Chat, not just one, but two. Both of the curtains ruined. Plumberry just resubscribed for 17 months. I oh, heard I every word of that, and my wholesomeness and innocence cannot handle it. Oh no, Grace Plum, Kate Cry I'm Club. so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work when I when I do it that way, but the point is I'm trying to deliver you a hug, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Your poor, sweet, innocent ears that have never heard a mean word before in their lives. Thank you very much for your sub, Plumbery Muffin. 17 months is a lovely number of months, in my opinion, because not only is 17 a prime number, I really hope that that's true and I'm not just making that up, but also the 17th of the month is the date of the month when I got married. And so every 17th of every month, Kay Menzel and I go, oh, hey, it's been X number of months because we are in fact just made of pure spun sugar um, and we will give you a cavity. The wholesomeness, <laughs> ow, my freaking ears. <laughs> oh, the little surprise Pikachu. It's so cute. Speaking of, Sudorudo. <laughs> Thank you for doing seasonal candy. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, hold on. I'm I'm gonna get a save point here because I beat one of them, and I did beat the other one, but I didn't light his bones on fire, which is you know my fault. I should have realized. I am in fact that couple. Um, but we've got some Easter eggs. Not just Easter eggs in the game. We found one of two that I have been told are in this room, uh, but also Easter eggs for seasonal candy. So thank you very much, Sudoruto, for that redemption. It really is just like the the cheesiest. It is the cheesiest thing about our relationship that we still do that, but like, I love that about us. This year, we're giving each other books every time we hit the 17th of a month. I have a book series that I'm working through to give to him, and he has a book series that he's working through to give to me. Because we really are that couple. And I'm sorry. Like, I'm admitting this on the internet. I just... It's... It's unbelievable. We love to point out when it's 929 because you were married September 29th. Yes! That's so cute! I love that. And I'm just going to show y'all because, again, I just think I have the sweetest. Okay, Manzel is so, it's so cute. I want to throw up in a good way. Yes. So my book series this year is Kay Manzel is giving me this, um, which is, oh, there you go. It's the new one. Because Cardcaptor Sakura was one of my very, very favorites growing up. And they are coming out with new ones, like kind of now, which is cool. And they're about like 
the next couple of years and like ah! it's so cute no sudorudo it's so cute hold on hold on sorry i just don't know if you know how much this ship matters to me i love them i'm fine everything's fine chat we're playing video games we're definitely playing video games and not freaking out about books you are freaking out a little bit about books willis thank you very much for redeeming hydrate for six nine channel points nice where's season two of the anime at anyway oh you have hot cocoa i have hot cocoa that's fabulous buttons i don't have a blanket because it is way too warm in this apartment but that's fine poisoned arthrog yes thank you for pointing it out we are so much that couple that we have emote swaps they're designed to work together <laughs> they're designed to work together it's fine okay i am actually a non-zero amount stressed Ooh. If it's the end of your day, Erica? Yes. <laughs> Not too warm for hot cocoa. Is too warm for blanket. Correct. It is never too warm for hot cocoa. I refuse to acknowledge that that is a thing. Okay, so after we fully shocked this guy. wonder if there's a way to like... You know what I bet would work? Hmm. You know what I bet would work? Ooh, it doesn't. That fascinates me. So it's kind of like a side thing? Okay, I need to I need to find him with light. Cool! Uh-oh. Bad. So I successfully killed both of the Skelly boys, but now we have been cutscened, and I'm a little concerned about that. When I wake up is the end of your day. Mm, that is a solid joke. I appreciate that. What I meant was, hey, if it's a nice way to finish off a day and be relaxed, then thumbs up. Poison Darth Frog, you, you have also picked a combination that they do not go together, but thank you. Do you know what does go together, though? I, I, love, I love the combinations that you're pulling here. However, might I suggest an alteration? Sorry, chat. This is, this is for my amusement, and we all know that that is extremely important. That's a better combination. <laughs> You need to be upset. Okay, we shall allow this cutscene. Whoa! He just spawned that sword and shield out of nowhere. So we are on... <clears throat> we are on phase two. Emotes are important. Hello, Garlic Grove. You missed it. I mean, maybe you missed it. I'm not actually sure. Um, last week, I ran into my first wall masters in this game. Isn't that great? Aren't you so happy for me? I screamed twice. I hate them. <laughs> and I thought of you immediately because of your creepy emote. That's the one. Right there. Hilarious. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. So. Oh, ouch. Okay. So I'm not going to successfully get over you like that. Whoop. Hello? What? Well, thank you for it being Dawn of the Second Day. I, I love that for us. Okay, I hate this attack. Oh good, he put his head back on. Ow! Why is none of this working? Oh, hello. 
That seems awful. Can I shoot him? No. That's, that's great. This is fabulous. This is an extremely confusing fight. Oh, shoot. But do you know what I wasn't doing? I wasn't wearing the captain's hat. I took it off. Oh, phooey. I bet I've missed something important. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hello, you silly, silly. Ah, phooey. I'm going to have to look that up. I thought I had it on. Oh, it might have been when I entered the room? Mm, fair, because I was not wearing it when I entered the room. It's a high five. It is a high five. You're right. Hey, listen. <laughs> Prison Dive Frog, the emote combos are endless and so amusing. Okay, so that's a little frustrating because he didn't have any dialogue in the bit where he stood up. And so maybe it, like... He was only talking to me in that original cutscene. In theory... One moment, please. One moment, please, chat. I'm going to do a very dangerous thing. Okay? So I'm going to save right here. And then I'm going to go back here. Please help me remember not to do anything stupid. Because we figured out what the Bremen mask is for, and it's hilarious. But we're going to wear this one. Okay? Oh, insolent one who has brought the unthinkable into a land as dark as I can <laughs> My servant to fell aimlessly before the light that guides you. This is the same. However, the darkness in which my servants live is after all fleeting. You shall see with your own eyes. So this is the same so far. Okay, this is this is the same so far, which is fine. Nope. Listen, I am very busy right now doing something that does not concern you dolts. I want to figure this out, okay? I really want to figure this out. Which means... We're doing this part again. I might regret that. <laughs> Look at my face under the mask. I'm so shocked. Okay. Okay. Come on. You know what? Any any time the buttons want to be helpful to me. Okay. Got him now that I know what I'm doing. Come on. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ugh, I've missed him. Good, I have not missed him. Okay, do you have dialogue this time, sir? No. Interesting. He doesn't, he didn't do anything. Stop attacking me, I'm busy killing you. Gah! I'm wondering if I have to like, beat him while wearing it? Do I have to beat him while wearing it? I hope I don't have to beat him while wearing it, because I've definitely, like, made this way harder for me than it needs to be. Well, you know what? I found it! I found it! He just needed to make eye contact with me, apparently. He couldn't see me. It was too dark. But I'm so tiny. Oh my 
my gosh. This guy just straight up fanboyed over Skulkita, and now he's pissed because I'm not actually him. Okay, that was very unexpected. So it is a phase two thing. It was not a cutscene thing. So I could have still tried it, but apparently I needed to be like in and or near enough to light to activate it. Listen, I had no idea what I was doing, but thank you for telling me there was something funny that happened. So now this is important chat. We're now going to ignore all of that. Poison Darth Frog has squished Lady Kiwi Wild and yep. Okay, we're gonna ignore all of that and we're just gonna go back to where we were. <laughs> hey look, we defeated them. You're blocking me, get out of the way. I can still get him. Blocking you? The reason he beat us is because you were so feeble. Don't blame this on me. What? Just try saying that again to my bony face. All right, chat. We've killed our enemies and burned their bones. Feeble, 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 feeble. Link wasn't available. Not the bones. Shut up already. Grr, don't look at me. I was once called the best swordsman in all of Icana. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. You? Oh, my dude. There were not good swordsmen in Icana. <laughs> Ooh. You're back with fancy drinks. That sounds lovely. I hope it is very relaxing for you, Erica. Not the bones. <laughs> and I thought I was being sassy. Oh, I guess the swordsmen in Icana aren't that good. You feeble. Draw your weapon! I'm sorry, neither of you have bodies. You do have bony faces, though. I can't- I can't tell if this is this guy realizing that he can't draw his sword, or if this is this guy being like, Are you so blind that you cannot tell? Oh, man. Also, chat. Also, this is- it's literally a rum and coke. Valid. Listen, fancy is an attitude. I heard a joke last weekend. Draws a weapon, tongue. Um, I heard a joke last weekend that relates to our wonderful frenemies, the Skelly Boys, um, that was basically a question of how does a skeleton know how to find you in a game even though it has no eyes and no ears now i know these guys have glowy eyes so that kind of ruins it but like presuming that they have no eyes and no ears because they're just a skeleton they don't have any of the stuff that should be for hearing and for sight they use they f they find you skeletopathically um was the joke and i hate how much i love that joke it just feels applicable, okay? How do I draw my sword? It is a good joke. They're, they're mad at each other now. Oh! And now their dad's yelling at them. You fools! Haven't you begun to understand? The kingdom being ruined and us left in the state. Isn't it petty little battles like this that have caused it? Wow, now is a great time for, like, some self-reflection there, Mr. King of Icana Castle. If you have a name, I don't know it, and I don't remember it. Oh, yep, just fire. In your purple fog. Okay. Believing in your friends and embracing that belief by forgiving failure. <laughs> These feelings have vanished from our hearts. Also, your hearts have vanished from your feeling. That's why you were a skeleton. It's fine. <clears throat> it all happened after somebody thrust open the doors of that stone tower. Igos do Icana? Oh, that's fascinating. I have never heard that name before. 
in my life to the best of my recollection. That's cool. Um, so also this is the first time I'm hearing about the stone tower and it's in red. Chad, I thought I needed to go to the castle for something and it turns out that that is not the temple. We have found zero stray fairies and I'm a little bit worried that the stone tower is actually the temple that I'm supposed to go to and that this whole thing was just a preamble. Just, just a preamble. That whole trip through the terrifying well with the terrifying mummies and the terrifying hands that show up from the ceiling and just kidnap you. And then the terrifying castle with the terrifying ballerinas. That's a joke. And all of this was just to get some kind of key. The, this has been the pattern. I should admit. I should admit that the pattern has been I need to do a whole bunch of stuff and jump through some hoops, usually to learn a song. And then when I've learned the song, I go to the place where the temple is and play the song and it opens the way to the temple. And I understand that, but I don't care because this was terrifying and I wanted it to be the only thing that I had to do here. And now I'm worried that they're going to put mummies or redeads or those ridiculous redeemer into both <laughs> those things. Now seems like a good time to reconsider where your life is going. You know what, Garth Grove? Thank you for redeeming rant about Mr. Grabby. I swear you have done this before. But that being said, I have no problems ranting repeatedly on this exact same topic forever. Eventually, it will just be a script. But for now, Nintendo, what is up with you and hands? Like, someone healthy is going on there, and I really think that you should think about it. Maybe talk to a therapist. Just, you know, chill out on the grabby hands, my dudes. But specifically, if you're gonna make creepy grabby hands that look like mummified flesh, sorry, that's upsetting. I apologize to anyone who's upset by that imagery, but like they're terrifying and they're pointy and they're worse than spiders because they move like spiders, but they're hands and they're awful. And also they reset your progress and drop you at the beginning of the dungeon, which is in fact the worst. Uh, but even that being aside, the, the, like, what does that add? It's just an annoyance. It's just like, they don't remove your locked keys. They just reset the dungeon. And so then you just have to walk through all the things and deal with the hordes of enemies again. Like, that's not fun. I mean, it's a little bit fun, but we'll ignore that it's fun for the purposes of this rant. It doesn't accomplish anything. In some games, they don't even hurt you. And in some games, you can like one hit them and they'll go away. And in other games, you have to hit them a bunch and they'll go away. And sometimes you hit them once like in the well. I'm pretty sure when I killed the one in that one room, it didn't come back the whole time I was in the room and I needed to leave the room and come back into the room to reset it. But in a game like A Link Between Worlds, when you kill a wall master, it respawns. And so, like, if you don't kill it when it tries to grab you, it'll go away for five seconds. And if you do kill it when it tries to grab you, it'll go away for ten seconds. And neither of those things is enough time. And also, get this enemy out of your game. It's creepy. And you're just obsessed with hands. And you need to stop it. There we go. There's my rant. I hope you enjoyed. I can extrapolate to more topics if needed. I think I did. Hands are easy design, dog. Speak to any artist about that and see what they say. I see hands and I go, oh, they'll do something. That is true. It is very much a like, but you can't see the wall masters. They just grab you and then what? I've never beat up the hand in Smash Bros because I'm very bad at Smash Bros as a game. Um... How many hands do you have, game? <laughs> That's great. Yes, we are talking about wall masters. They, they're they just there to be awful for no reason. They have wall master in Super Mario 3 in the last overworld? That's awful! Oh my gosh, that's so bad! Changed up your proportions because you wanted a lower... It just tastes like less sweet Coke. Oh, I'm sorry that you're... That that's disappointing. 
I love when hands do things. Flutter, flutter, flutter. I mean, depends on many contexts and definitions of that. I don't love it when wall masters do anything, except that's not actually true. I do love it when they die and go away and then I don't have to deal with them anymore. Polygon pulled out an unraveled video on, hey, what's up with all these eye hand bosses? Of course it was delightful. It's Brian David Gilbert. That's so funny. I was just watching um, Dropouts Um Actually, uh, the episode that came out last night over dinner. And um, Brian David Gilbert is the fact checker now. And it's delightful. It's the best thing. Like the personality on that being is is perfect i really did used to love it when the unraveled videos like the legend of zelda timeline from the unraveled video that was perfection it's great the the episode that came out this week was the drag episode so all of their guests are drag queens and both the host and brian david gilbert are in drag and it's so great The Pokemon rap, also good. Listen, I've been on the internet a while, folks, and I know what I like, and I like things that make me giggle. I don't really mind inconveniences, but for 12-year-old me, I think Ocarina enough Time would have been greater without Wallmasters. I agree. I just think every game would be greater without Wallmasters. Anyway, so we have to find a stone tower. This guy in purple is telling me what to do, and I always obey purple fog, so... You who bring light into darkness. I am... Oh, look! He introduces himself! Sudaruna introduced himself! <laughs> I am the king of Icana Kingdom. I goss to Icana. His food-related content is fun. Did you see the song that he did on um, selling, selling the laptop to buy like a hurdy-gurdy? That was so good. It's so unrelated, but it's so important. <laughs> to return true light to this land, you must seal the doors of Stone Tower where the winds of darkness blow through. Okay. But the Stone Tower is an impenetrable stronghold. Listen, okay, we've already done three of those. Just shoo. Get on with it. Hundreds of soldiers from my kingdom would not even be able to topple it. Okay, well, if you... No offense are the king of this kingdom and those two soldiers were like your best because one of them was the greatest swordsman i'm pretty sure i could do a better job than all hundreds of your soldiers that you sent however um i do also accept that i would still fail and so whatever it is that you need to tell me you just you let me know i will do it uh david so congratulations on your stream streak three streams that's actually pretty amazing did I know the Pokemon Ampharos has the Japanese name Denryu when Denryu... Well, Denryu just means active current. Den means thunder and Ryu means dragon. Yes. Thus making the mega evolution where it turns into an electric dragon type. A Japan exclusive pun. That is beautiful. That is truly beautiful. I love that Pokemon. That's a really cute design. Actually, sorry, I should specify. I love Mareep. And I love Ampharos. It's a very good design. Um, but that being said, I love the little sheep. I will catch that sheep every time. That sheep is so cute. And I will never use that sheep. Uh, but I will catch that sheep. It is far too reckless for one to take on such a challenge. Okay, but I will. Because I am the main character of this game. And so I grant you a soldier who has no heart. One who will not falter in the darkness. What? You shall remember this song. Oh, that's a long song. Elegy of emptiness. Gotcha. Okay, I'm less confused now about the soldier with no heart comment. 
this is fine. Oh, what a face. Great face. Fabulous face. So good. Oh, yeah? The game is now actually good. This is fun. Like, I've been enjoying the game so far, except when it, like, throws wallmasters at me. Then, then it's fine. Crazy old Moreep. <laughs> and Flaffy is henceforth forever dubbed Flaffy Taffy. Yes! That's great. That's almost as good as Giratina Turner. I like Flaffy Taffy. That That's a whole delightful evolutionary line to me now. Okay. Uh, so this is a mystical song that allows you to shed a shell shaped in your current image. That is very specific. It is really good. And and you can at Poison Darth Frog for that one. Uh, because he redeemed when I was playing the updated Pokemon Diamond. Um, he redeemed my name, name of Pokemon Channel Point Redemption. And put Giratina Turner there and I specifically went far enough into the end game on stream to catch Giratina which I have never done before in any playthrough of that game so that I could fulfill that redemption because that was so good it it was great oh but speaking of games chat I'm supposed to be playing one but instead hold on Because I love myself and I know what I want. I have it. It's mine. She's the main character. So I picked up Princess Peach Showtime recently. Um, in case in case you, you don't have visual on this. And I am super excited about it. <clears throat> oh, good. I'm glad it explains this to me. So I can leave up to four empty shells behind by wearing different masks. That is good to know. The soldier who has no heart is your twin image except for the face. Uh, just ignore the face and it's fine. So every time I play that song, I'm just gonna leave myself behind. That's great. And also terrifying. Like, look at this. This is the most, like, this is what would happen if Link and Tingle had a baby. You know what I mean? This is the most frightening thing. <laughs> that was the right view for that. <laughs> Woo. Amazing. This statue is heckin' adorable. Take it home, stand it in a dark corner. Just let everyone cry. Yeah, listen. Uh, Sudo Rudo, it was on the tip of my tongue. Um, we... We've been told. We've been told. Uh, we probably need to practice. Let me see if I can remember this. Nice. Currently, I'm still remembering it. Am I gonna see the cutscene every time? I will see the cutscene every time. That is upsetting. Oh, that's even more upsetting! No, that's not even me! Oh no, that's that's the, that's the scrub that I. Oh no, that's the actual scrub. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! This is traumatizing. <laughs> Oh dear. This is only going to get worse. I am fairly certain that's what this scrub would look like if it wasn't Link, which makes it uh, the poor little dead guy. Mm. Love it. That's great. We're committed to this now. You're welcome, Poisoned Earth Frog. I was thinking it, and that's the sort of curse you have to pass along. <laughs> yep. 
Yep. Right down to his scar. Because, see, this character we actually saw in ghost form already, so it's significantly more recognizable that that's not Link. That what has been left behind is, like, the soul within the mask. And I just... We gotta finish the collection chat. got his guitar and everything well if you didn't think this game was terrifying and trying to give you nightmares now you know now you know I don't even know what to do with this Okay. <clears throat> not health. Also not health. I mean, I have fairies in a bottle. This is a terrifying statue collection. Okay. I need to figure out where the stone tower is, chat. Okay, fine. Mmm. Love this. This is great. Why do these guys come back to life? It's fine. I accidentally killed half of them just running through that space. I will collect this money. I am, in fact, cold enough to do that. All I did was, was run and Link's little natural hip wiggle. Oh no, this was a horrible mistake. It keeps doing it. Yes. That is just accurate. Okay, so now there's light, right? No? Isn't there light? Hmm. I see. There's a shortcut there, but like... Fine. I would like a health, please. There's a shortcut there, but it doesn't seem to be opening for me. And I presumed that was because there was no light. Uh, but now I'm thinking it's probably because... <coughs> I'm approaching it from the wrong side. Because normally there's, like, light beams that you stand in. I wonder if I can open the doors from this side. No, well, I'll tell you what I'm not doing. And what I'm not doing is going through the well again. So we're going to go this way. I'm literally getting him to fly me over this wall. I will appear on the other side of the wall. Oh, hey, look at that. I'm so pleased. Oh. Bombs. I would, what I would really love is some hearts. I don't need to pay attention to Tattle because I have already 
fought all of these guys. I have already been... Gotcha. I have already been into the music house, that's why it's playing music. I have already been into the well, that's why it's terrifying me. I've already been into that house and I've done a whole bunch of things. I've been into this cave, I played some music, I made a river happen. Uh, but I have not been... This is actually a fairly reasonable point. Um, I have not been up here. Let's just double check. Okay. This is literally the only unexplored place. Can I run up it? Or do I have to Goron roll up it? Because that's a thought. Oh! No, you can just walk. That's interesting. I didn't go up there because... Ah, I have found the stone tower. I didn't go up there because I assumed it required a Goron roll. And that seemed like something that was out of the... What a lovely face. Oh, no. Oh, dear. I recognize this type. Okay, so there are places... Oh, love that. There's bats. And there is also falling rocks. Fabulous. Ooh! Uh, oh, okay. Why do, why do I want that? I mean, maybe I do want that. Um. Oh boy. Oh, fooey. Um, okay, so the white dots on the map are falling rocks. So that's good to know. I am suspicious, chat. I am suspicious, and I do not like my suspicions. I don't know why this would be a thing that matters. But I think, like, I don't know how I'm going to get back to those platforms if I push them together. But the thing that I literally just got was the ability to keep a switch pushed. And so I'm going to keep the switch pushed and we're going to see if that's what I'm supposed to do. I wish I could skip this, but I cannot. It's fine. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh. Uh. Uh. So I can blow this up. Or I could blow it up with an actual bomb. We have 18 of those. This is interesting. This is interesting and stressful, but it is pretty music. Oops. Uh, this button. Gosh, I remembered that just in time. Oh, health. I do like health. Okay, we'll we'll take it. I bet the stone mask would work, but that's not very helpful when also faced with what are we doing okay uh i don't know what we're doing we're just trying this We're finding switches and we're leaving ourselves behind.
dislike. It's fine. Oh, there's going to be so much switching back and forth of things. Okay, so now here's the thing. I don't... Ah, there you are. I was like, I'm not seeing where else to go. Yeah. Okay. So one presumes up here. There is another switch. What's it gonna do? Uh, oh! Oh, it just does... I understand why that first switch made no sense, chat. Because I hit the first switch when the other platform was still in the way. I am glad that I went ahead and hit the switch. Because otherwise I would have had to go back down and hit it after having dealt with those other two. On the horrifying subject of Tingle, was he playable in Hyrule Warriors? So obviously Link, Zelda, and Sheik are, sorry, not Sheik, Impa, are playable because that's on the box. It doesn't even say how many characters. Who is that random silver haired girl? No, 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 no. Who is, who is, who is this? I don't believe so. I'm just asking. I I would never have even Poison Darth Frog. It says I can play as my favorite character, though. I have literally never played this game, and I own it. Is that bad? I don't own it by choice. If they made him DLC, I would have bought him. Okay, so I recognize you can play as Ruto. <gasps> Where's the Darth Frog? I found something. Tingle is Hyrule Warriors playable. So is Akako. Um, and also, and that's amazing to me, you could just play as a chicken. Um, and you can play as Skull Kid with the Majora's Mask on, and that's kind of lovely. And also lots of other things. Honestly, kind of cool. Not a bad set of people, but who is Lana? Like, truly. You might even be able to play as a great fairy. Unclear. You can play as fish waifu. See, now, now I'm glad I own this game. Because now there's a reason to play it. I can be a chicken. Or tingle. She's original to Hyrule Warriors, not from Zelda. I mean, that, that makes sense to me. There's two characters that I saw on the list that I was like, that seems made up just to have girls in this game. Back on the shelf, no time for that now. Sorry, side up. It was so much further away from me than I thought it was. Because, like, 
my Switch games, oops, my Switch games are on this shelf over here, and then I have my DS and 3DS games doubled up on the shelf, and then my Wii U games are directly above it, and so I was like, oh, so that's fine. I have the Legend of Zelda games, like, right at the front of the shelf, but Hyrule Warriors starts with an H, so it's actually the shelf above that. Willis, thank you very much for the snack break. Thank you for redeeming Hydrate for 6 9 channel points. Nice. Thank you for redeeming Dehydrate. Thank you for redeeming non-seasonal candy. Thank you for redeeming seasonal candy. And Willis, thank you for redeeming third. <gasps> Hair bow! Thank you for redeeming costume time. Willis, you're just using all of your... Mm, oh, no, that's not it. You're just using all your channel points to make me happy. I have one in here. Where is it? There it is. All right. We're not going with one that matches uh, because we're going with the biggest, craziest one that I could find. Which is this. This. Look at how lovely that is. I can just stick it right there. It's almost the same size as the bow that I've got in this corner, which is crazy. Look, it matches. It's so fancy. I love it. <laughs> Hello, Macho and Mexico. Welcome in. Lovely to see you. If you want to redeem him again, I won't tell you no. So there's the hydrate. I've been so distractible, chat. It's just so lovely to think of things. We've got my dehydrate, which comes with dip. You recently played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. The SNES version had an original character named Asuka. She leaps at her opponents and smacks <laughs> and smacks them with her butt. Listen, if it works, it works. How much damage does it do? Oh, it wasn't going to stop me. Oh my. Why does that feel like a threat? There we go. We got our dehydrate. And then we have... Seasonal? Non-seasonal. Chocolate. I just, just gonna eat it. See, this is nice, chat. You gotta make sure that I run out of Easter eggs before this weekend. Because Easter's gonna be over after this weekend. Not much damage, but worth it. You know, the commercial of how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? I exclusively want to know how many of that attack it takes to kill every enemy in TNMT tournament fighters. Just only that attack. Around 350-ish, valid. I'm glad you've counted, because I have not. I have so much chocolate in my mouth right now. <laughs> It's fine. I'm so happy. Okay. I have left um, my terrifying self behind. It just makes me feel like... No. Hold on. I figured out why I think it's creepy. Don't put too much in your mouth. I don't want you to choke. I like daisies. That's very sweet. It's difficult to choke on melting chocolate. But I do appreciate that. So, Chad, I just thought of something creepy. And then we have a bunch more redemptions. For all of the other masks, you clearly leave behind the soul of the being used to create the mask. So what's this? Oh, that's unfortunate. 
Marshmallows I can see though. Because they don't like moving. You did an entire arcade run, yes. Poison Death Rug, yes. That's exactly what I want to know. Okay. Echo in Mexico. Thank you very much for redeeming seasonal candy, non-seasonal candy, hydrate, and dehydrate. Hydrate for 69 channel points. Nice. Hmm. That is sad. So I have my seasonal and non-seasonal candies here. I'm going to finish what's in my mouth, have a couple of chips, and then do those one at a time. Because I, I don't want to upset anybody. It's Link's innocence. It's long dead. It died the moment he met Tingle. <laughs> Poison Darth Frog, that is dark. But I can't say it's incorrect. Okay, so there's... An annoying fire keys over there. Wee woo! That is a jump I almost did not make. I I could do without that aspect of this, but it's fine. Um. In this game, Tingle has been nothing but sweet to us. And I will say that. That's what the bunny hood's for? Oh, because you jump further? That would make sense. That and the floppy ear physics. It's true. The floppy ear physics, vastly underrated. Tingle definitely does have a fan base. I think I like him better in certain games over others. But that doesn't really mean I dislike him in any game he's in. I didn't mind him so much in Wind Waker. I mind him more in Majora's Mask, but it's not his fault. I mind him in Majora's Mask because I keep, like, I only ever run into him, like, once a cycle. Never more than once. And so I'm forever seeing the same dialogue from him, and I can't skip it. <laughs> Wind Waker Tingle is the worst one. No, he's the, like, definitely doing illegal things one. That doesn't make him the worst. <laughs> he was funny. Put that man in jail. I am not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I would never. Okay. So we're going to have to do this again. One assumes. You only need to speak to him twice in Oracle of Ages and he's in his own place? Oh, that's nice. And so you're saying in Oracle of Ages we break into his house and steal his stuff? I just see switches and I press them now. That is, that is what we're doing. I don't I don't know what we're doing with these switches actually. Cause so far nothing has happened with them. Is he under house arrest? Maybe. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Confusing. Very confusing. Nope.
Are these supposed to be to help me go back or something? Yeah. Because they're not really doing anything right now. Well, I see switches. I press switches. Whoa! That was a rock exploding directly next to me. Okay. So there's another Beemos up there. Okay. Okay. Wasn't even moving that fast. Standalone tingle games. It's amazing. He has such a fan base, you know? I also don't really like that I can occupy the same space as the statue. Like, who would not find that terrifying? I would certainly find that terrifying. Oh good, it can't see me all the way up here. which button is the explode button lady qew please just remember okay that rock just traveled directly through another rock but they're doing the thing again where they're moving in order which is like this is cool This is honestly a really interesting puzzle. It's, this feels like the easy version. And so maybe things will get trickier further up the tower. But like, I really do not mind the nature of this puzzle. It, it makes me think of the thing that I have said multiple times now about how Majora's Mask feels to me to be smaller than Ocarina of Time because this is a sort of puzzle that it is the the difficulty with this puzzle it is so difficult to get a handle on the scale of everything that's happening like that's what's hard about it and they're doing a very good job um both with how they're cutscening the movements uh so that you can see what's happening on the wider scale rather than trusting that your camera is just gonna work but they're also doing a very good job just kind of making it obvious. I'm not having to hunt for these things. I'm just having to go to the next logical place right now. Um, and that I think works very well. Yeah, it's a tutorial for the temple and that's what it feels like. It's just explaining to me how this works. And I do expect it to get trickier later, but for now I'm actually pretty happy with it. Oh, I'm sorry that you had a stressful dental appointment and all of the stress. I'm really glad to have seen you tonight for a bit, Plum. I hope that you rest well and that you get some good sleep. I am indeed solving all the things and I'm sure I will continue to do so. At the very least, I absolutely have this song memorized. There we go. In Mexico, if you're still here, this is my seasonal candy. It's the last thing that you redeemed because I finally finished my non-seasonal candy. I really hope at the end of all of this, there's an owl statue. Okay. I've been told the bunny hood will make this less freaky. I hate it. 
it! But we're here! It is interesting. Oh! I saw it. I saw a tattle flick over there. What's he doing? What do I get if I go over there? I hate it. Oh, that's an actual fairy. I think I ate it by accident. No, maybe? I got it. I have so many fairies, and do you know what's a really unfortunate chat? I'm probably gonna reset. It's good to know that there's a couple of them over here. Um, I like that he's dancing just as energetically, like the scarecrow is being just as energetic as the redeads, which are terrifying. I, I have a feeling that I'm going to be resetting the cycle once I find my next owl statue, which I'm hoping will be uh, fairly close to the entrance to the temple. And so I have all these fairies and I'm just gonna have to find new fairies. They're easy to come by, it's okay, if you say so. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. So there is no switch here. Wait. Where do I go next? Can I make this jump? Whoops. Definitely not like that. I don't need this on anymore. Okay, so that is nothingness. feels like my end goal. I want to get to that. It's not this. Hmm. This is a weird thing to be finding myself confused by. Okay. It feels like this should be obvious. So is my hook shot long enough if I'm willing to stand here? Yes. Okay. I can accept that. 
and that is literally just all right oh there's another scarecrow point here with more things I probably don't need them I think this is where I'm going I don't see a switch here oh we found one chat Very nice. Gotcha. And so using these three switches. Oh man, like it's two o'clock on the second day. There's no way I would finish this temple if I started. Bombs, magic, arrows, fairy. So I can get one fairy just next to the statue after resetting. There's a fairy next to... There's fairies next to a lot of the owl statues, is what I remember. The ones near the temples. And so I could probably collect a couple of fairies. Okay. So here is my thinking. Oh, it's 8.30. Oh, shoot. Um, I'm going to go back into town. I'm going to turn in my money. I mean, I might collect more money and then turn in the money. That would be fine, too. And then I am going to reset the cycle, get the Scarecrow song again, get some items... Uh, and those items will include flying to the owl statue in front of Great Bay Temple and then the owl statue here to get at least two fairies, I think. And then I'm going to cross into the temple. So I'm going to give myself maximum possible time to do this one. There's got to be things after this temple, right? I always like giving myself maximum time for temples because usually there's things to complete after you beat the boss of the temple. But I guess until it happens, I don't know what comes next. I I still have... Like, I, I've realized that we've completed a lot of the story. We now have all the songs. And if I finish this temple, that will be the fourth set of remains... And there's still four masks to go, which isn't that bad. And there's still... Between six and ten pieces of heart, depending on whether or not there's another heart container somewhere. But we're actually, like... surprisingly close to the end of the story and it feels like it snuck up on me I just kept thinking I was gonna play this game forever and now I'm looking at it going wait but I'm at the fourth temple and after you have the fourth set of remains you can finish the game anytime whether or not you choose to you know? There's so much side stuff. And that's fine. I mean, I definitely don't mind the side stuff. I need to... Oh, man, I got too close to this. This gets me every time. It's okay. It does... Like, there's something about the repeatedness as well as the side stuff that just makes me think... What up, Willis underscore saved just resubscribed for 12 months. Can you believe it? We're nearing the end of the game and it's been a year of awesomeness with Lady Koo. 
<laughs> that's so sweet. My TTS gave up on me, but that's okay. Willis, thank you so much. 12 heckin' months. That is almost a year. In fact, uh, according to some people, it is a year, just not according to Twitch. Um, it has been wonderful getting to know you folks in general, like from the very beginning of when I started streaming, it's been wonderful to get to know people. But especially, it's been lovely since I started playing Zelda and I've met all sorts of helpful people in the Zelda community. I did love playing Paper Mario though. I should do that again at some point. Thank you for 12 whole months, Willis. It's delightful. I feel like I've been playing Zelda for my entire life. Done hundred percent. There's just so much left to get. Like how how am I this close to the end and yet I still have so much to do. It is the start of the twelfth month, and at the end of it it will be a year. Okay. So, I reset the time, then I pick up a little bit of money, pick up a little bit of items, pick up a Scarecrow song, and fly to Icana Canyon. That's what I said I was doing, right? I'm avoiding the Swamp Shooting Gallery still. I know I have a wonderful, wonderful, like, video that I could watch repeatedly to figure out what I'm supposed to do, but I'm just like... I'm in full avoidance mode. I should slow down time after I do this though. Yes, I shall save and return to the dawn of the first day. Thank you. At least I haven't forgotten that very often. I think I forgot it once, but I typically have been very good at remembering to slow the flow of time immediately upon resetting every time so that I have time to take stock of what I am doing. Got it. Oh my gosh. So this gives me $20. Oops. And then I always jump off in the wrong direction. I really just shouldn't wear the bunny hood when I'm not used to it. Whee. Easiest 120 money I ever made in my life. No, oh, I jumped off in the wrong direction. That's okay. Okay. I'm just going to give him this 120 because I am about to go into a temple and typically you make money in temples rather than spending money in temples. And so I don't need it. But I do need... Cool. 
So now I have the Scarecrow song. And so now let's get some stuff. This is a very normal beginning of a cycle for me. A sword? Bye. I'm here for the stuff, not for the money. I mean, I'll take the money. I'm here for the stuff. If this were EA, I'd probably need to spend money to get the map and the compass. Oh my gosh. I can't believe how many times I missed this guy. Just, just, just explode, please. Thank you. Found it. Keep getting money. Money is not what I'm looking for. Arrows, that's nice. Deco sticks. Sure, we'll do. And that seems fine. There we go. And we got some bombs. Not bad. Uh, only ten bombs though. There's some more bombs. Probably we're at fifteen now. Cool. 20 bombs, no bomb chews. Doing well otherwise. And so now I would say it is just fairies that I want to find. I mean. We'll also take this because I am here. So sure. There's one outside of Woodfall. It feels like there would be. There were uh, jars in that area. Got it. Cool. Okay, so fairly easily. There's probably one outside of Snowhead, too, then. Um, I 
I've never done this part of the rotation before because usually I want empty bottles for the purpose of um, like carrying things for side quests. But I am walking into a temple and so it feels like potions and milk and stuff. That's the only thing we've got here. Okay. So I think it's The fairy and snowhead might be somewhere else, but that's okay. Even three. Three is not bad. We can get our third fairy. There's probably going to be a fairy inside the temple somewhere. My bow does match my bow. In in both color and scale. It's so similar. And I am amused by that. Okay, three fairies is just gonna have to be good enough. We'll take these, even though I'm probably already full. Yeah. Oh! Right, and they gave me bombs too. 25, love it. Fabulous. So now I'm going to play some songs, freeze some souls in place as one does. Ooh. That was a really pretty emblem underneath the center block there. It probably means nothing, but it gave me all the signals of shoot it. Which is only fair. When you've been playing Zelda for as many weeks as I have. The theme that's playing in this area is really similar to the theme of the Elegy of Emptiness. I don't know that that's something that I wanted to notice, and yet here we are. Chat, can you believe I didn't fall even once? I can't. So we have a safety save outside. There will be points when we like undo that. Oh, this is. Oh, no. Oh, this is large. Oh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear, chat. This is a big room. And it has bad things in it. Yay! There's already an enemy sniffing at me. Okay. I feel about as prepared as I can be for this. Uh, which is to say... You know what? Actually, I've stopped having those... Um, so when I first started playing through the series of Legend of Zelda, I had this like constant voice in my brain that was like, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. And that that is not the voice in my brain right now. I have not really thought that probably since Snowhead. Um, Woodfall Temple, I was worried I was going to die. Uh, you don't have very many hearts at the beginning of the game. But at this point, I'm like... No, I'm just worried I'm going to get stuck in something that's unadvantageous. And so I want my save states to reset. But I haven't really been worried about death in a while. 
um, just being unoptimal, you know? So I don't want to say uh, I'm worried I'm going to die in this temple, but I am worried that this is going to be difficult because it is the fourth and final temple. And so it's probably going to have some pretty difficult puzzles. It's probably going to require some creative thinking. I would expect use of all masks, uh, personally. And this is the bad things room. And I noticed that there are, there are enemies in this room that I haven't seen in a while and I am not looking forward to seeing again. Uh, but we're here and we're going to persevere and we're going to do our best. Uh, but that will be a next week problem, not a this week problem. So it is 10 to 9, which is a few minutes earlier than I typically end stream. But this is such a good point for it that it doesn't make sense to try to figure out this room and then immediately turn the game off. I'm just going to forget everything that I learn anyway. So I will just remind y'all that I stream Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Um, we have had daylight savings time in my region, so that extra hour exists if you have not hit it yet, which I think some people haven't. Um, I believe that the UK, for example, is is jumping forward on Sunday. So finally, we'll be back to a normal distance apart uh, for our time zones. But for now, things are a little bit extra. Um I will be back next Wednesday night, 7 p.m., as far as I know. Uh, nothing weird has happened so far. I think I looked it up because I was so confused as to why it hadn't happened yet, Buttons. There's certain things that I tune into that are UK time, and um, it was confusing when they were not at the times that I expected last weekend and the weekend before. I'm used to them being a lot closer together, but not this time. This time they are forever apart. And so uh, to my friends in the UK, please enjoy losing an hour to wake up on Easter Sunday. Yeah, I didn't think that was very nice either. So next week, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern time, I will be here trying the Stone Temple, uh, which is the fourth and final temple in Majora's Mask. I don't even know if I'm going to finish it in one stream because it feels pretty significant, but I will do my best to do what I can. And then after that, we're going to go side questing because why would you finish a game? That doesn't make any sense. So we're going to go side questing after that to try and collect the remaining masks, the remaining items, the remaining pieces of heart, uh, just to get all of that stuff finished. And I think that will be a lot of fun. And then once we have all the masks and once we have all the hearts and not a breath of time sooner gosh i hope we fight pilots um then we will attempt to detach skull kid from majora's mask and see see if we can redeem that character because he was a sweetheart in ocarina of time so that's the plan i hope you like it and for now the plan is gonna be Find a friend to raid. There are so few people who stream Wednesday nights that it can be tricky. <laughs> I'm glad you had fun, Rudo. And thank you for being here, Buttons. Thank you for your stream earlier, too. It was lovely to see all of y'all. I always have fun with you guys. Uh, who am I kidding? Fiend is still playing the original Mario Maker and is doing, like, Mario Roulette and... It's just too much fun to watch that. So there's a raid message uh, for y'all. If you happen to be subbed to the channel, you can use it. And if not, you can delete the emotes and pick different ones and put them in. Or just delete them in general. That would be fine too. But we're going to go raid Fiend. So if you want to see someone who is a pretty stellar Mario Maker player, um, I have really been enjoying, I've been enjoying her content for years, but I, I especially enjoy some of her original um, Mario Maker content, which she hadn't played as much after Mario Maker 2 came out. So we're going to stop by, say hello. Hopefully you guys can uh, have some fun over there watching that. But if you want more Zelda content, as always, I will be back next Wednesday. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I had a lovely time chatting. And thank you all for making sure I was all snacked up. I had a lovely time snacking. <laughs> as I always do. <laughs> 
and hopefully I'll see some of y'all around. But until I see you next, have a wonderful week and a wonderful weekend, especially if you get some days off and some holidays. Enjoy those to the fullest and hopefully I'll see you again. As always, keep it cute. Bye.